Hello, Dispatch and family. How is everyone doing? On this video, I am going to be talking about five questions that you should ask a carrier before you decide to dispatch for them. Now, you may be at a social event, a barbecue, a celebration, um, or just hanging out with some friends and family and come across someone who is an owner operator. And that person may be looking for a dispatcher. So although you may be excited that they're looking for a dispatcher, um, you do want to ask some questions to make sure that you and the carrier are a good fit right from the door. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, you and the carrier are a good fit right from the door. The first question you want to ask them is what type of equipment do they have? Now you're asking this question because some dispatchers have certain equipment that they specialize in or they have certain equipment that they do not want to dispatch for. So that is the first question you want to ask. The second question you want to ask is how old is their authority? Now, we're asking this question for two reasons. One, we want to kind of understand how much experience the owner-operator has. And two, we want to know how challenging it's going to be to find them loads. Okay? So, the third question, how much money do they want to make? How much money do they want to make in one month? That question will definitely determine whether or not you're capable of dispatching for them and also if they are dealing with reality. Let's just say what it is, right? So if it's a dry van, for example, um, and you, you're speaking with a, a, a truck driver and you ask them how much money they want to make and they say, oh, I want to make $40,000 a month. Do the math, people. It's a dry van and they want to make $40,000 a month. That's not really realistic. At least, I don't know, for 90% of the drivers out there who drive dry van. So that may, you know, determine whether or not you and the carrier are a good fit. The fourth question you want to ask is, do they use a factoring company? Now, we're asking this question because if a driver is using a factoring company, then we know that they're going to get paid, I don't know, 24 to 48 hours. When the driver get paid, generally, we get paid. So you want to know how they are getting their money, their revenue. Um, and don't feel like you are... Um, crying or anything like that. This is a business transaction, right? So I want to make sure I know how I'm getting paid just like anybody else would. So factoring company is very important. If they don't have a factoring company, that's fine as well. Um, but have a conversation and find out how this driver intends on paying you. The fifth question is how long do they want to be on the road? So we're asking this question for two reasons. One, if they want to be home every day, then you're going to have to work at dispatching them to be home every day. But if they want to go home once a week, once a month, once every six months, then this kind of gives you an idea of the type of relationship you're going to have with this driver, as well as how much time it's going to take for you to dispatch for this driver. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you found it helpful. Please pass this video along. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe button so somebody else can also listen to this video and get some good information. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.